this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. So today is a stop and crop, so I get to share uh, some things that I have going on and some things that I've been working on. Yeah, so here is the cover uh, that I've been, nothing's glued down. I'm just kind of placing things and seeing what I like. And actually, I think this design is pretty close to to what, I, what I'm going to end up with. It's pretty chunky right now. Um, I'm just going to take it apart, uh, show you each piece. So this wooden piece, I don't know what exactly it was, but it was a little frame deal with an inset here. So I added um, one of my stamps and some gauzy fabric. So yeah, that's a good cover piece. I have some embroidery from my hand-stitched embroidery kit that I have in my Etsy shop. So I have a few more. I sold out last week and then I went and got some more. So I think I there's a, there's a couple in there. So, But you can also buy the mix. And then the boho is also available. So this, this fabric is really interesting lace. It's got stuff on it. So that's pretty cool looking. And then I can show you, this is onion uh, paper, so it's handmade paper. That's for my friend Heather. Yay, Heather. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cover, but actually first I'm going to show you something else before we get back to the cover. So let's see here. Uh, my oldest is visiting, and I said, go for it free reign in the craft room so these are the little bits and pieces that max made and this one is super fun i'm really liking this like the uh effect of the stamping border that's really interesting i didn't see that before so it's like the background is a master board and then uh, it's like the frame of this. I don't know how that was done. That's really cool looking. Hey, we should try that. <laughs> All right. So then this one, that is so cute. Look at the squirrel. This is a little piece of fabric that's stamped on. Look at that. And this one, there's like a, a whole the background was it's like vintage photo i think it was and just covered the whole back so that the bunny piece kind of stood out because the collage board in the back was about the same color as this piece of paper so and i said i said oh just uh highlight the border around it and this idea of you know shading the background is way better so and the little fabric that is from my fabric scraps too cute okay hippo yeah we used to sing the the hippopotamus song for christmas <laughs> um so that one kind of is cool h for hippo <laughs> little wallpaper samples another fabric scrap with a toucan 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 <laughs> and then the a stamping around it. Sunflowers. Oh, little letters and the birds. Oh, that's so cute. I'm loving these. And the little ribbon with the stamps in between. The ducklings are so cute. And this one. A little pop of color. Cool. Those are neat. And also, um, for my I, my birthday is right by Mother's Day, and I planned on sharing this. I don't think I shared it. I think I was planning on it sitting in my spot to share during a stop of crap, but I don't think I did. So here it is. Uh, this is the card that Max made. Um, oops, fuzzy there. Um, so it's like a two for one, and then look at this. It's got like a pop out. How fantastic is that? And the little cupcakes, handmade. We're just like post-it notes and things and a little flower pop-up 
How cool is that? So this is definitely the kind of card that a junk journaler <laughs> loves. So I was very excited about that. So I wanted to share it. Okay. Um, and then I'll get back to that. But I also wanted to share my... Uh, I did, went to an estate sale yesterday, and the estate sale was kind of a bomb. Um, I, I was good. I walked away. I said, um, he's, he charged too high of a price. Nothing was priced, so I had to bring it up to the front and say what I wanted. And the guy's like, gives me a price. I was like, nope, I'm going to walk away. <laughs> so then there was a rummage sale down the street, and they had all this vintage stuff. So I... I I was very excited about it. But these are really different. These are super old. and But they've got like a silver. I'm thinking maybe from the 50s. I'm not really sure. But they're very cool looking. Very different. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah. There's like a little. Fancy cellophane seals. Oh, that's kind of layers on there anyway there's a bunch of these seals so they're like you like lick them I'm not gonna lick them you know how I feel about that but <laughs> uh yeah they're cute and then there's another one these little flowers so they're kind of shiny but they they do say cellophane on them so and yeah so there's a bunch of those in there there's not 12 but there's a lot I might have to make a kit of vintage Christmas because this is like a vintage card and then this is a vintage and look at this um it actually says ladies home journal on it so it's a little tag you got from the magazine ah these are fantastic look at these little cards so those are really great for antique and this says best wishes for your shower little puppy okay so those are good, but look at this. So I saw this little box, and so I just bought a big box all with all this stuff in it. And I had no idea what was in here. So this is like super vintage. It's got like this fuzzy, it's really fuzzy. Like all of these accents are fuzzy. It's got like this cellophane thing. It's an envelope. Okay. So then there's this one. Which way does this go? Yeah, like this. So I think there's supposed to be like a card on top of it. But this one there's not. That's okay. Um, there's these little cards. I should show you a different one. but And then they've got these wonderful pictures on them. And they fold open. Oh, look at that. Look at this. So it's got this like backing plastic backing that's like etched or something there's like trees and things and then look at this and then it folds open how fantastic is that oh my gosh that's so cute but there's a bunch of them in here this one's a fuzzy one and this is got a little box and then it goes like that? That? Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like these. Amazing. This one. Oh, that was upside down. <laughs> Speedy recovery. Okay, I see it now. Window, window. <laughs> trying to look through the yeah this one's right okay so pretty flowers Let's see I don't know if I went through this whole box I didn't know there was more in the bottom oh my gosh <gasps> shower tech I didn't see any of this how did I not see this for your anniversary oop sorry <laughs> But this, look at that, it's a feather, a writing feather. Yeah, that's all there is. Oh my goodness. A little tag for your shower. I can't believe how much stuff 
What is in here? This is going to take forever. Okay, more of these tags. We can skip that. This little darling girl blowing bubbles. <gasps> Wishbone, a gift for you. Oh my gosh. Look at these. These are so cute. Oh, more vintage Christmas. That's handy. <gasps> oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know these were in here. Okay, so those can go with the vintage Christmas stack. These are those little seals. The little, oh my gosh. Pretty flowers. <gasps> Look at the birds. I probably looked at these and then I just forgot. <laughs> Little paper there. That's good too. Okay. Putting these back. Really quick. Over there. The box. Even the box is awesome. All right. Now, oh, this is like probably a hundred uh, cards. So we're just going to go. These are all the birds I put together. Try not to go. I'm, I know I'm going too fast, but I'm going to keep that one out. These are okay. These are all the same. I'm going to turn this around because I'm obviously going the wrong right direction. Turn this around. Okay. Pretty. I'm just stunned at how many birds there are. down again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like some kind of artist. Look at this thing. <laughs> Those are all about the same. Okay, now we're getting into the vintage. Same. And they're all not used. I mean, they're, you know, nobody sends it. Stargazer lilies with sparkles. Ugh. This one. And these. A lot of these do have an image on the inside. I just know that I wasn't going to do that for all of them. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This is a pink dog. I don't know. It's absolutely fabulous. Some flowers. Look at that. This might be a newer one with an old image on it, I'm thinking. Reader's Digest. Oh, it's like, oh, well, it's pretty, very different. 
внутри. Ну ладно, смикс. There's two of these. And look at that. I might have to make one of these. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I really love this one too. On the plant stand. I'm going to pull those two aside. Because I think those might be fun to make. For a video tutorial. Ugh. So pretty. And this little card deal. And this just says Margaret on it. It's got like silver. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> and then these are a bunch of... This look like they're all from the same batch. And cars. Oh, cards for men, apparently. Croquet. <laughs> I love the font. It's got sparkles on it. lace fake lace <laughs> okay um and then these are mm, the same croquet that's the same okay oh that is a lot of vintage cards like i did not expect there to be that many vintage ones in there so that was really really exciting <laughs> okay so i keep like finding things in my craft room that I think I have to add that to my hinge journal and this was one thing I'm gonna add this was like at a thrift store and it was just like this but I figure I can still use this part of the paper it's just loose it, actually the box was torn oh that's a lot of lines Anyway, so I thought that would be fun to put this as a page. So this is my hinge journal. So, just, oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, so this is what I did. Um, as, as with the back page, I glued a piece of lace. Lace is actually really strong for binding uh, once you glue it down. <laughs> Okay, so one to the inside cover and one to the first, to the last page. So the same thing here. I did this page and the cover. But on the back, I basically did the same thing, just opposite style. And I don't know if you can see this, but I first, because I was a little worried about these hinged pages coming apart. Some of them were were feeling the strain from not having any support on the spine yet so I knew it was time to just get something down so I used like a muslin cotton cloth it's like this was from a hanky a cotton hanky but you kind of get the idea and then I glued that down all along um, my hinged pages and then after that I took a piece of lace and I glued it this way you know, it's like this wide and half of it on this side and half of it on this side. And then I did the same thing with the back. I did have to stretch it a little bit. And I'm I'm really happy with the with the cover as far as its width. And I did decorate most of the pages, so before I did that, so it's it's pretty accurate as to how big the book needs to be I'm not I'm not super fond of the alligator mouth but uh, that's okay because I think I think we are not going to be adding too much more to this book it's getting pretty full and then I have to cover this because I don't want to see any of that white <laughs> white be gone 
And I think I'm just gonna like ink up the edges. I don't know how I'm gonna cover this yet. But just in case any of that ends up showing through, I'll have it, I'll have it inked. I'm gonna get out my darkest walnut stain. I got two more Distress inks from the Hobby Lobby. They were on sale, 40% off. And so I grabbed two more. I got um, Rustic Wilderness, which is this lovely green. And then the other one was Rusty Hinge, which is a rust color. So, yeah. I like that one. I don't really have anything like that. I don't have a lot of those colors, but, you know couple at a time. Just kind of ink in there and on the corner. And I did um, just kind of lop off these corners so that they're not like rough points on the edge. And I'll just do the back cover too. Although this one's not like white, white. gives it hopefully a more uniform look. Corners. There we go. So now I have to decide how I'm gonna just put like a base cover on this. And I'm just not sure. That might be neat to do with my back cover. Since I got it sitting here. I don't know. Am I going to have to wrap that around? I might have to just wrap it around because I don't really want... Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it around. I don't really want um, that blue showing through at all. I'm not I'm not crazy about that. So let's just do it. Let's just glue it down. Let's... Now we're doing paper to paper here. So I'm just using my art glitter glue. I'm sure there'll be, I, I plan on doing like multi-layers, so I'm not really worried about, I guess, going it down all the way, all the way. Well, I didn't leave any overlap here, but I did here, so that's fine. Okay, let me just trim that off. Open this up. All my layers. And then I'm just going to glue this down onto here. That's pretty good. So I've got this extra bit. Do I want to do, could do something like that on the corner? I guess, yeah, I'll just match that up. Okay. 
on this edge here. Up there. Not much uh, room for error. This stuff dries fast. Okay. And then just I'm just going to glue that in there, I think. That works. Oh, got a little more. <laughs> Cover the whole thing up. Sheesh. I'm not going to use that. And I'll just tear... That should do it. Oh, and I'm really struggling right now because I just have my son's graduation party and his high school graduation party. So, and he's coming tomorrow. And it's pretty crazy. So much planning and trying to get my videos out. And my husband is not feeling well. He's been very sick for quite a while now. A couple, very sick for like two weeks and kind of sick for longer than that. So it's pretty crazy. There we go. Oh, that looks super cool. Super de duper. And then I can add maybe like some lace around the edges. I don't know. I don't know. Oh boy. I may want to use some of this just to blend in the back cover. I'll see what I have left once I, I do the front cover. Okay. Now this I'm going to cover with some paper. What, what paper? I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. I could maybe do piano roll since I've got it right here. Maybe. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Maybe just some book pages. It's hard to decide. Some music. Music pages. Could do. going to be able to see much of this anyway, but I, you know, if a little peeks through, then it's there. Okay. So I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if I should put, maybe I should put a little fabra fix over here. dry so fast and <laughs> just it's high pressure high stakes okay I think I'm gonna do three sheets of the music paper
I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay. Very good at these corners. I should have looked it up first. Oh, that'll be all right. Okay. I'm okay. I can do it. <laughs> I don't know why the I've messed up a lot of corners where they're like really junky and bulky, and because I'm a winger, just wing it. And sometimes it doesn't work so good. supposed to I don't know <laughs> oh yeah you fold it in this way and then fold it over okay I'm gonna do that <laughs> oh dear I'll just put it like mine across here maybe okay that's how you do it okay It was totally unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely tell I'm winging this. So that inking I did, totally, totally unnecessary. <laughs> oh dear. So this, oh, oozing. Use that to our advantage. <laughs> Where's my cap on this thing? That's for that glue. Here it is. I really don't want to lose this one because it really does ooze. All right, you get to go upside down again, just in case I need you. All right, so this is the front cover so far. We're glued. Kind of bumpy, but that's all right. I'm okay with that. It's mostly gonna get covered up anyway. So this is what we have so far. And then under after that, I'm gonna do. I don't know if I want this edge. It's kind of like this dark spot, but it does have a nice fringe on it. I'm just gonna have it hang over just a teensy bit. This time I'm gonna ink this because I know this part is gonna show until I cover it up too. Just kidding. <laughs> oh dear. Looks like we need some more glue here. Let's see if this stuff works for us. You stay there. Now, I think I'm ready to glue that on, just like that. I think that should do it because there's gonna be other layers. That's gonna fall over. Okay. Mm. 
Now what do we have here? We've got this one. I don't think I want this edge on here. Look at that. Oh, I do want it to be this way up, though. Because I think I'm going to add that edge to the back so it kind of matches. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. So I'm going to steal a bit of this. Ooh. So that's going to be for the back edge. So these edges will kind of match. Maybe? We'll see. Good. Let's just glue it. Sorry, losing on me. Quit. Quit. Quit cutting out. Okay. And I'm just going to come right to the edge on this one. Oh, I got bumped. good for our base. I like it. Okay, and I am excited to use this onion paper to add a little texture. I just don't know if I want the whole piece, and I don't know if I want the straight edges. Uh, maybe I'm going to ink it up. A little bit of grunge there. This piece. How did I want to do that? I had my not those. I lost it. I found it. Okay. What's the short piece over here? Piece here and then that piece there. Okay, so now the only thing is I need I'm gonna I'm gonna end up adding some more lace of some sort here, but I'm not gonna worry about that now. We'll just layer it. Okay, so this fabric first. Uh oh, don't give up on me. Oh yeah, I still gotta glue. I gotta glue this piece down. Hold on. I gotta do this. Okay.
and I do usually try to uh, put the glue, the fabric glue on the embroidery. That way it does seep through the fabric. It's not too much of a problem. Oh, wait, hold on. I want this. I want this part to show. Okay. Got that. Hmm. I feel like I'm working against the clock. Um, so then that will go there. And I'm wondering, I think I do need my E6000 for that. So I'm going to put my Fabrifix away. Kind of funny after I just had up my glues and adhesives video because I'm using a bunch of different glues. Hopefully this opens. I need my pliers. <laughs> Where's your pliers when you need them? Okay. Seeing them in my drawer. Oh, they're there. They were in there the whole time. Right where I left them. Oops, that's stuck. Yeah, these are the, the ones. <laughs> uh, okay. I think this stuff takes a long time to dry, if I recall. So I'm gonna, and it stinks. Woo wee! All right, I was stuck in the pliers. All right, you go back on. Now I'm gonna read the directions. What does it say? You don't have to read them. Um, just there's. Oh, here we go. Test small area. Wait approximately two minutes before mating surfaces. Oops. La la la. <laughs> two minutes. Dun dun dun. <sighs> Pretty happy with this so far though. It's looking looking pretty fun. I could put maybe a little piece of this back at an angle here. Now nah, I should use like a different piece, right? It's kind of fun. How about this one? It's more of that. I don't know why, but the color isn't right to me. I think that's been about two minutes. And this stuff is so delicate. Not sure about that. That stuff. Ooh. I think something like this is gonna be what's gonna happen here. I don't know how, I don't know where. Glue everywhere. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I just don't know. This is what I really struggle with. Um, there we go. That's it. That's the one. Oh yeah, that looks real good. I'm real happy with that. I could perhaps add something on these sides, but I don't know yet. I can kind of see. I don't know if that's going to go away, that glue part. But if, if you know, I don't like it, we can always add a little more something down in there. Something, something. How many different types of lace do you need in life? A lot, apparently. Whoa, no. <laughs> this is, no, you're out of control now. <laughs> no. That's kind of pretty. It's a little thick. I don't know if I want this color on it either. Color's not bad though, actually. I just really did want it to be pretty, pretty lacy. gonna cut some of this off. I've got more of it so I don't I'm okay with that. Do like a thing down the middle. I don't know. I do kind of like it where you can see that pattern on it and the color. It's got a nice texture. We'll see. I, th I think I'm going to have to postpone making a decision on that. I'm going to put all this lace away. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with the spine. I may end up just inking it because it, it does look pretty nice like that. You know, grind it up a bit. Uh-oh, we got puppies. I can cover this up. Who knows what we can put in there. Oh, wait, hold on. I have been excited that I might be able to use this stuff. I got these vintage ledgers from 19... It might be 1901. 1904. This one's 1902. It, oh, it's probably 1902. I'm going to say it's a two. I like how the colors sort of match this right here. Do that. Could do a hinge deal. I'm going to do a hinge deal. I'm excited to put all these vintage papers in here. Some 
decorative something there. Cover that up. I've been playing around with this thing because I just I'm not I haven't been all that happy with it. It was in here somewhere. somewhere. Hmm. I forgot where it was. It was probably at the beginning. This might be a new page that I've done since I don't think I did that one on camera. Not sure I did this one either. This one I played around with so much. I just, I took it off. I'm, I usually don't do that, but I, I took off pieces that I had already decided on. And I much, I'm much happier with it now. <laughs> okay, I'm going back to the beginning because that must have been... I guess not. I don't know where this one was. Oh, here. That's where that was. Okay. So then this was just paper clipped on here. Like that. Yeah, I'm a tap here with that now. I, I uh, inked the, around this. I don't know, it was like bringing out this yellow that just didn't sit right with me, like bright yellow that didn't seem very antique. So, all right, I do have an issue here. I've got some broken old page, so I need to deal with that. I really want to add like something from here. Some of these were not connected. If I did this, would you be able to access both? That's the question. Could stick that out just a twinsy bit. Hmm. This one's loose. Just getting excited. <laughs> All right, so this will work. So then you can just open it like that. Oh no, cover up the back. Okay, you have to go in a pocket. <laughs> These are the problems. <laughs> They're going it. Um, just throw things around like that. Is this a pocket? Oh, I made that into a pocket. I didn't even know. Maybe you can live in there. Would these fit in there? Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, you get to stay there. What else? What else? Or like those fun vintage ones. Oh my gosh, those are so cute. Alright, let's see what we've got. I know there was another tag. Hmm. I put them somewhere. Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. And actually I still needed something for here too. I could cover up the hat. I'd still see much of this. And then you can open it that way. Yep, I'm doing that.
And then that's a lot of writing space on there. And then I still have this pocket to put something in. I think I did that too close. Can I move it still? Nope. Well, that's a bummer. And then we'll need something right here. Eventually. I still have to fix this. I was thinking like a little tiny cluster or something. This might work. Just to bind it together and... Looks good there. I'm going to put a little piece of paper underneath it. Okay. <laughs> Scrap in. to give it a little bit of reinforcement so nothing nothing goes anywhere okay got that And then I'll just add this little piece here. Oh, got the camera. Whoops. And then I think that'll be all for today. So thanks for coming along. You can check out my Etsy shop. You can subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos. I do have a lot of short form videos as well as the Sunday morning craft along with me, the stop and crops. So yeah, if you want to check out uh, my Facebook group, Junk Journal Tutorials and Books, you can uh, sell your junk journals there. You can share, you can add tutorials. So we really don't have any rules, um, except the only rule is it has to be junk journal related. So if it's promoting something, we don't mind that. We don't, we don't, we don't worry. Okay, so as always, thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.